Now let us try an example to determine the layout of the tendons in the pre-stressed concrete beam. Based on the Magnus diagram obtained in example 4, it is found that at the predefined eccentricity of 450, the applicable range of the pre-stressing force P will be between 1016.5 and 1675.9 kN. It was then decided by the designer that P equals to 1200 kN is to be used. The question asks us to propose the layout of the tendons based on the specifications provided. The tendons used will be 7 wire standard strength with the nominal diameter of 15.2 mm and the spacing between the tendon will be 50 mm. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solutions. In order for you to determine the layout of the tendon, first you need to know the numbers of the tendons required. It is given that the pre-stressing load is equal to 1200 kN and the tendon size and types are given. You will need to determine its specifications for you to determine the numbers of tendon. Refers to the table here, 7 wire standard strength, the nominal diameter is 15.2. The area will be 139 mm square and the FPK will be 1670 Newton per mm square. This number will set the basis for you to work out the maximum stress in the tendon. The maximum stress in the tendon is given by these equations, which is 0 0.8 times the FPK and also 0 0.9 times FP0.1K. Since the table here do not provide FP0.1K, we may simply assume that it is equals to 0 0.85 times FPK. FP0.1K after calculations is given here. The maximum tensile stress in a tendon will be defined by the smaller value of the two, which at the end of the day you obtain this. Based on the maximum stress in the tendon, you are able to determine the maximum checking load. It is obtained by multiplying the maximum stress with the area of the tendon. This will be the maximum checking load for each tendon. You know that the total checking force will be 1200 kN. Dividing this with the maximum checking load of each tendon, you will get 6.8 tendon. You will need to round up the number into a single unit, which will end up to be 7 tendon. However, Based on the sections given here, it is always a good practice for you to put the tendon in the symmetrical manner. 7 strength is an odd number. Probably you can go for 8 units of strength. With that, you will have 4 units of tendon on each web. On basis of the 8 units of strength in the member, your total checking force is 1200. We are able to calculate the stress in each strand, which is calculated by dividing 1200 with 8 units of strength and also its cross sectional area. The stress in each strand is calculated here. Next, you will need to check if the design stress is exceeded. To do so, you need to first determine the design stress. It is represented by FPD as given in the formula here. It specifies U strength divided by the partial factor of safety of steel, which is equal to 1.15. 
the fp 0.1k is obtained here then you know that the design stress in the tendon will be 1234.3 newton per mn square the stress in the tendon is less than the design stress then you know that the tendon is acceptable and these are the layout of the tendons as the eccentricity is predefined you will have to make sure the centroid of all this group tendon will fall at the eccentricity of 450 there will be spacing between the tendon of 50 also you might need to check for the cover from the side and soffit of the beam to the tendon depending on the exposure class the requirement of the cover may vary you need to refer to the euro code 2 and make sure that the provider cover is greater than the requirement